Hello and welcome to this demonstration of public transport in Paramex Discovery. So in Paramex Discovery we can do an awful lot with uh, public transport and modelling the operation of public transport in a very detailed way. So you can see here that I'm already starting to create a public transport route or a PT route which I uh, can access from the Edit Network menu. So I give the PT route a name, I give it a description and then I just go to the network I can zoom in and hover over the link that I want my PT route to start and then I can move to the link I want the PT route to end and if I double click on that it fills in all of the links in between so I've got my PT route there very very quickly so I'm going to add a second one uh, and this one rather than going westbound along Main Street this one will go uh, south so it'll kind of cut through the model um, now, when we're adding uh, PT routes, you can add a start and end link, but you can also add interim links as well if you need to define the uh, the routes that a specific route will go. So in this one, I'm just going to select the start, and then it will go through the model, select one as an interim link, and then the end. And I've got my second PT route in place. Okay, so we've added our PT routes, and we're now going to add a couple of PT schedules. So if I go to PT schedules in the Edit Network menu, I get this dialog. Click Add, and I can uh, give my PT schedule a name. So the first one is a 10 minute frequency. I'm going to use a two section tram. And if I select regular type, I can define a start time, an end time, and a frequency. We're running every. This means that the tram will be released every 10 minutes. I'll add another uh, schedule and this one will be for the double-decker bus and I'll use a tabular service. This means I define the exact uh, times when the bus will leave its origin. So there's two ways to define PT schedules. You can do the regular uh, type with a frequency or the tabular with exact times. We've now got a couple of PT routes and a couple of PT schedules. So I'll just move those to the side of the screen. Uh, we're now going to look at adding some PT stops. So this is identifying locations on the network where your tram or your bus will stop. It's very simple to do. There's a toolbar button to add, just like you would add a node or a detector. You select that and then click on the link where you want to add uh, your stop and then you can give it a name. So we've added one there at the Main Street East. We'll uh, move down to the west of Main Street and add another PT stop in here. As well as creating PT routes and schedules and stops in the user interface, we can also import them from pre-existing files. So I'm going to import a PT stops file. It's checking the format of that. And when I click import, it brings in these two new PT stops onto the network. I can do the same for PT schedules, so import PT schedules. Again, I've got a file already created in a CSV format, and it brings that schedule in. You can see all the times of the Service 3 schedule. And finally, PT routes. Again, a CSV file. Now with this one, we can select Create Matching PT Services. When we import the route, we can see the PT route there. Because it's got the same name as the schedule which we've imported, it will join those together to create a service. So PT services really bring together the three inputs that we've created so far. The PT routes, the PT schedules and the PT stops. Now if I open PT services you can see there's already one in there. That's because we imported a PT route and a PT schedule with the same name, service 3. So we've got uh, the route, service 3. We've got the schedule, service 3 selected. We can now decide which stops we want uh, the service to stop at. So let's leave them all on. And now we can create a stop time for each stop. So this is the time at which the bus or tram will stop uh, as it travels through the network at this particular stop. Uh, so we can set different times for different stops. We can also set different times by time of day. So if I hit split, you can see that two time frames are created. And in the second one here, I could set the time to 
uh, let's say 9 a.m. and I can change the stop time. So I'm going to increase that. So now if a bus or tram uh, arrives at the stop after 9 a.m. they'll stop for 20 seconds instead of 10 seconds. Okay, so we've created our PT services with the components of PT routes, PT schedules, PT stops, and then applying stop times for those stops. So now we're going to see what this looks like when we visualize it. So I'll start uh, the simulation going here in the Visualize tab. And now we're waiting for a bus to come along. Uh, and we're expecting this at two minutes past eight because that's what we had in the timetable. So if I pause it there, you can see uh, at 8.02, our double-decker bus has arrived onto the network. It's the service three. And I can select it and see some details about that. The bus is stopping at the uh, Church Road stop and you can see a short queue forming behind it. And then it's just going to travel through uh, this junction and then we'll see if it stops at the Main Street West stop. So here it comes, it pulls into the layby and we can see it now stopping at the Main Street West stop. So really quickly and easily we've coded public transport that we can now visualize on the network. Let's look at one more visualization of public transport in Paramus Discovery. This time we've got a tram. I'm going to select it and it's going to travel westbound along Main Street. There's lots of nice little things we can do when we're uh, tracking vehicles through the network. So I select the vehicle. I can then change the particular camera angle that I want. So this is a fixed angle I'm going for. So as I watch that go through the network, I'll just slow that down slightly. We can see this fixed angle camera. Now I'll just turn off the uh, information above the vehicle so we've got a nice clean image and we can watch that tram going through. Now another thing you can do with public transport is you can detect the vehicles and then give priority to them. So as this tram goes over a detector we can extend the green time at the signals ahead and it gets priority through them. It's then going to pull into the stop and it's staying there for 20 seconds like we've coded before it moves on. So hopefully that gives you a flavour of how you can model the detailed operation of public transport in Paramus Discovery. Thanks very much.